Today, I'm going to answer a question I get asked a lot. Reyes, how much money did you make in YouTube in 2018? Well, I made enough to go full time. As you guys know, I'm officially a full-time YouTuber and I love it. Been doing it for the last four months, but it didn't start out like that. When I decided to quit my day job to go into YouTube full-time, you know how much money I made in my first month of doing YouTube? Four dollars, yup, that's right. In this video, I'm going to go over each month so you could see what videos bring the most money and I'm gonna tell you my reason of why I start getting more subscribers. So January 1st to January 31st of 2018, I made only four dollars. Ooh, I was balling. I was like, what? I'm making some money? Got 9,000 views. And then um, these are my videos. My most viewed video at that time when I started taking YouTube more seriously, it was the recycling aluminum cans and plastic. You know, I've always wanted to show people how to make money. And this video was getting the most views. It was only getting 1,500 in a month. So that's it, started small. But you know, luckily I had money saved until it picked up. All right, next month, it went up a lot. I started creating more videos. Let's see what brought in the most money. I almost quit making shirts. That video brought me $12, but I'm still getting about 1,500. That's the most views I got so far. So it wasn't a lot, make $70. With YouTube, you need to make at least $100 to get paid. So, so far, I got $75. So let's go to the next month in March. Oh, and just letting you know, I started January with 2,000 subscribers. Let me see this one right here in February. I only got 244 subscribers. So let's go to March. March, that's when I started making over $100, made $131, 16,000. I got 230 subscribers that month. So it's not a lot of growth. And let's see what video brought me the most money and it was one step closer because my whole channel is about shirts and I was showing people the journey of trying to grow your business and $19 oh right here in March you know how I told you I had money saved well $131 isn't anything it's nothing when you have a family of four to support so I had to go back and get a regular job I went back to making my shirts Oh man, I felt like I made the biggest mistake of my life trying to make YouTube into my full-time income. But I stuck with it, man. In April, I went to go get a job. It went down, actually. It's free, I mean, seeing your money go down when you're trying, when you trying so hard to make it happen, discouraging. I only got 262 subscribers. My most, my top video was $8, but I, I had to keep going. I, I wanted to make this work. So, in May, I only made $71, man. Not even enough to collect. I was getting bummed out. I was like, oh, am I really gonna, you know, I sacrificed so much. And it's just disheartening to know you're not making enough. You're not, whatever. It just it's, it sucks, man. To be honest with you, I made my best. The, that video made nine dollars was the most I made that month off a video. That's it. In May, I only posted two videos. I was going through a hard time in life. After going to the hospital, I went to a hospital. I had to sell my shirt equipment, and I was on bed rest. And then I decided, you know what? Let me make. I, I recorded a lot of footage before I got sick. Just let me edit. I got nothing else to do. And then that's when I made this video, how I made screen printing my full-time income. 
And look at that spike. Look at that. Crazy right here. This day right here. Boom. It just started growing. And I made $512. I'm like, what? Here's the thing about YouTube. Whatever you make in June, you won't get until the end of July. So even though I made money, I had to wait a whole month. So I still have to work my regular job. I was working at AM PM at this time. And how I made screen printing my full-time income only made me $128. 22,000 views. People started checking out my other videos. And that's where I started making a lot more money. One video went semi-viral and it brought in a lot of subscribers and those subscribers checked out my other videos and all my videos started making money. And in that month, I made 1,800 subscribers. So you just took that one video, man. But just letting you know, I was learning how to make your videos better, how to use the right tags. I did a lot of research. I was like, yeah, I'm feeling happy. But that's still not enough because I needed at least 1500 just to pay off the bills. So I still had to work. But now that I knew I was making some money, some real money off YouTube, I put more gasoline into the fire. But it did take me a while because I was working. But all my free time, anything I could spare, I put into videos. In July, boom, $1,000. 202,000 views. I made 4,000 subscribers that month. Ooh, it was good, man. And how I made screen printing my full-time income was still bringing in money. 234 was still bringing in subscribers. And look at that. Look at that. Right there and there, that's when I decided, you know what? I think I'ma start letting my job know, hey, I might let you guys go in a couple weeks, all right? They knew I was doing YouTube, and then I kept producing more videos. And in August is when I told my boss, hey, I'm working full time. I wanna go part time because I wanna put more energy into my videos. And that month, I made $1,400. Let's see, how I made screen printing my full time income is still making money. Man, it's crazy how just one video, and you don't know what video is gonna go get a lot of views and bring in a lot of subscribers and bring in a lot of YouTube ad revenue. That's why you just gotta keep producing good quality content. And then I started making more videos. I started making more videos in August about, let me see, here we go, yup. See, right here, look. August 5th, make more money with your heat press and vinyl cutter. August 6th, how I cure my shirts, August 11th, August 13th, August 15th. I just start boom, 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 producing videos. Here's the thing, when you're trying to grow a business, once you have momentum, once something is growing, put as much effort into it to keep making it grow. Because once you stop, the growth stops. September, I made 2,200 in that revenue. We brought in 7,000 subscribers. October, by this time, I, I, I already told my job, hey, I'm not coming back. Thank you for the opportunity. They understood. I made 4,500. You think I gotta work a part-time job when I'm making this kind of money? And then the ad revenue started kicking in, killing it. And I got 13,000 subscribers that month in October, man. And I posted a new video, a video called 299 Vinyl Cutter to start your home business. Look at that. That video alone brought in almost $2,000. That was my second semi-viral video. November, you won't believe this. In November, I made $7,000. And the reason was because I made another video that went semi-viral. Buying my first vending machine to start my home business. Check this out, boom. This video alone made 2,500. So now I have three semi-viral videos, bringing in a lot of subscribers. And this month, in November, I had, I got 24,000 subscribers. And in December, 55, it did go down, 
because November, it was. You know, every business has a slow season. Right now, it's a slow time for YouTube, December and the first two months of the year. You know, and I can't complain. I'm, I'm good already, man. I have good videos, they're making good money. See, but because I already had a collection of good videos. That's what you gotta worry on. And that's it. Now, just letting you know, YouTube does take 25% of whatever ad revenue I make. If I made 4,000, they're gonna take 25%, which is a thousand, and I'll have 3,000. That's just how it works. This year, I made $23,000 in that revenue, $17,25. So I made $17,000 off YouTube this year, and I only started making money about four months ago. 2019, man, is gonna be my year. I'm trying, I'm trying. I went to win 2018. With $10,000, I got it. I want to end 2019 with $100,000. I want 500,000 subscribers. And let's see where life takes me, man. So that's it. That's how much money I made in YouTube in 2018. And at first, I was regretting this journey. Maybe I should have done it differently. But no matter which road you take, just stick to it. And sooner or later, you'll reach your goal. Now, this is just one revenue stream. If you guys wanna see my next video on how many revenue streams I have, which I got about five, like this video and I'll make that video next. Subscribe because I'm always posting videos to help you make more money.